guys, I'm Tess. This is Good Moves with Well and Good, and today I'm walking you through a yoga standing series. So a series that you can really do anywhere. You don't even have to have your mat if you don't wanna get on the ground. This doesn't involve any of the up-down that you would do in a yoga class, a typical yoga flow, just focusing on standing series. And a lot of cues you'll hear in a class in standing series are different body parts. So let's go over some anatomy first. So grab one of your feet, Find the squishy part of your foot between your big toe and the arch of your foot. And today we'll call that your big toe mound. And then inner edge of your heel and outer edge of your heel. Pretty obvious. So that's your foot. Hands to your hips. I want your fingers to feel the bony parts of your hips. And then slide your thumbs back until you feel those two divots in the top of your sacrum. So kind of where like the logo would be on your leggings. That's the top of your sacrum. And some of us have a natural tendency to stick our hips out, anterior tilt. Some of us have, you know, sitting at a nine to five desk all day, a lot of tendency to do this. So right away, just kind of notice where you are in your body. And all we're trying to do in a standing series is get to a neutral spine with a neutral pelvis. So with that said, let's get to moving. Come to the top of your mat. Bring your feet hip width distance apart, which you can measure by placing two fists between your inner arches. So once you have that, bend your knees, come back up. Hands start on your hips. Inhale, lift your chest, gaze up. Exhale, fold forward, wrap your peace fingers around your big toes. So thumbs rest on toenails. Bend your knees however much you need to make that happen. As you inhale, look forward, lengthen your back, and exhale, fold, really tucking your chin to your chest, you should feel a constriction in your throat. So the top of your head reaching down to the ground, anti-gravity shoulders away from your ears. Take another big breath in, full breath out. On your next inhale, look forward, chest forward. Exhale, slide hands underneath your feet so that toes hit inner wrists or just about. Breathe in, look forward. Exhale, fold. Again, the very top of your head reaching down to the mat. Chin really tucked and trust yourself to put weight in the balls of your feet. Two more breaths, breathe in. Breathe out. One more here. Full breath out. Hands come to hips. Bend your knees. On an inhale, rise all the way up. Heel toe your feet together to touch. Mountain pose, Tadasana, fingers reaching down to the ground. And to get that neutral spine, you're again tucking your tailbone towards your heels. Inhale, arms overhead, palms touch. Exhale, fold forward. Breathe into your half lift. Step to downward facing dog. And if you haven't warmed up today, really take time to pedal your feet out. And on your next exhale, find downward facing dog, pressing into hands to send your chest closer to legs. Inhale your right leg up. I'm lifting my left leg just to show you, but use your right leg. Breathe in, lift a little higher. Step forward to low lunge. Foot is between your hands, come to all 10 fingertips. I'm grabbing a block, placing it on the highest height outside of your ankle for triangle pose. Spin your back heel down, straighten that front leg, and peel your arm open. So in standing poses, you really want your front leg to externally rotate and your back leg to internally rotate. And then once you find that, lean back so shoulders are on your back. Take one more breath in. Stay as you breathe out. Inhale to rise up. And exhale, warrior two. So most of us will widen our stance like I just did. Toes face in. Arms are in line with shoulders. My gaze is over my front middle finger. Two more breaths, breathe in. Maybe sit a little lower as you breathe out. One more inhale here and exhale, hands to the mat. Move that block out of the way. Breathe in, down dog split. Keep your right leg lifted. Really press your heel away from you. You want your hips square to the mat. 
Inhale, lift a little higher. Step back to low lunge. Find your block again. Extended side angle, spin your back heel down. Keep that knee over your ankle as you reach your arm up. Flip your palm in front of you. Send your arm over your ear and really use the connection of your arm and your leg to rotate your chest open. I'm looking at my top hand. If that hurts your neck, just look forward. Breathe in and exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, down dog split just for one breath. Step forward to warrior one. Spin your back heel down. Bend your left knee over ankle, arms up. Relax your shoulders onto your back. Keep pressing the outer edge of your back foot down so you can send your hip forward. One more breath in. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step to plank pose. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg up and back. I'm doing my right. Step forward to low lunge. Grab your block, place it outside of your ankle on the highest height. Triangle trikonasana pose, straightening your front leg, peeling your right arm up. And again, really wrapping my hip underneath me, turning my back hip in towards the heel of my front foot. Breathe. One more inhale, feel your shoulders on your back. Stay as you breathe out. Inhale to rise up. And exhale, warrior two. So widening that stance. See that my shoulders are relaxed on my back. Gaze is over my middle finger. Two more breaths. You want shoulders over hips. One more breath in. Exhale, hands to the ground. Move your block. Down dog split for three breaths. Hips square to the mat. Toes face the ground. Long line of energy from head to foot. Take another breath in. And exhale, low lunge. Find your block, extended side angle, spin your back heel down, peel your right arm up, flip your palm to face forward, extend your arm overhead, gazing at those fingertips, really sink into your hips, press your arm and leg together to rotate your chest open. One more breath in, exhale, hands to the mat. Move your block, breathe into down dog split, one breath. Step forward, warrior one. Back heel grounds, front knee over your ankle, arms up. The full expression is to press palms together. If that's a lot, keep hands separated. Really pressing your left hip forward so they're square to the front of the space. Breathe in. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale to plank pose and exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Exhale completely, lift your heels, bend your knees, look to hands and hop. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Press into feet, come all the way up, hands together, arms by your side. So keep looking forward at the top of your mat. I'm gonna face you just so that we can have a conversation here. Shake your arms and your legs out. Let that go, we're done with that part of our standing series. We'll come into a little balancing. So I really want you to press your weight into your left big toe mound, the outer edge of your heel and your inner heel. And as you do that, hug your right knee into your chest. Really give it a tug, so use your hands. Good, press into your whole foot. Send the right sole of your foot to inner thigh or calf, which is where I'll go today. So modification, wherever you are in your practice, everyone can do this. Just avoid your knee joint, hands to your hips. And as you send your right knee out, feel your right hip press forward. And if you're ready, hands to heart center. Great place to stay. As you inhale, arms up, if you'd like to go a step further. Always, always options. One more breath in. Exhale, hands back to heart center. Send your knee forward, don't step down yet. Cross your right ankle over your left knee, just above it. Sit back in figure four chair. So you're flexing your right foot. You're pressing into palms so much that your elbows really want to move away from one another. One more inhale here, and a full breath out. As you inhale, press into your left foot, hug that right knee in, step it down, 
Whew, done with that side. Weight is now in the right ball of my foot, inner heel, outer heel. So really all four corners of your foot pressing into the ground. Hug that left knee in, give it a tug. Bring the sole of your foot either to your thigh like this or your calf like this, just avoiding your knee. It's not safe to press your foot into that joint. Hands to your hips to start. Feel your left knee move back in space and your left hip move forward. Hands to heart center. On an inhale, if you'd like, reach arms overhead. Shoulders down your back, top of head reaching up. Big breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Knee comes forward, don't step down just yet. Cross that ankle above your right knee for figure four chair pose. Keep that left foot flexed so you really fire up your outer left booty and breathe. Hips back, heart high, one more inhale. Stay as you breathe out. Press into your foot, come up, give that knee a tug. Both feet together, Whew. shake that out. Shake out your arms, shake out your legs. We're done with that standing series. Bring your hands together at heart center. Take a big breath in, really fill up. Oh, exhale, let it go. I'm Tess. If you'd like more workouts, subscribe to Well and Good's YouTube channel right now. And I'll see you back here on the mat.